this will happen to you after you hear this album. Holy shit. Well, I have known about this band for a while, but I've never gotten to listen to their music. I've been too busy with a bunch of other things going on, but I decided that this was going to be the year that I finally checked them out. It was their big comeback album, especially after their lead singer was cured of cancer. Had to support. And wow, we might have here the best non-country album of the year. This album is fucking spectacular. Like, I literally have little to nothing negative to say. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to go down the track list, tell you the one song that I wasn't really a fan of, and then my overall thoughts, my final verdict, and then it's see you later, go listen to it for yourself. Here's the track breakdown. Obscenery, great. Paper Machete, awesome. Negative Space, awesome. Time and Space, fantastic. Made to Parade, great. Carnavoyeur, I hope I'm saying that right, awesome. What the people say, as stupid of a title as that is, fucking awesome. Emotion Sickness, oh my goodness. And the running for one of the best rock and metal songs of the year, if not the best. And Straight Jacket Fitting, it's good, but it's way too long at over 9 minutes. And then, the only track that I kind of had a problem with was Sicily. Like, it sounded great, but I just, I just wasn't feeling it. Like, the rest of these tracks immediately had me vibing with the beats and the instrumentation and the drums and that fucking bass line. But, Sicily, I don't know, something about it just didn't click. It's not a bad song, it's just fine. That's really it. Literally it. Outside of that, this album's fucking fantastic and you need to go listen to it right now. I've given it a 7.5 out of 5 this year. I've given it 8.5 this year. Now it's time to do the next one. Final verdict for this album is a 9.5 out of 10. If Sicily wasn't so just not clicking with me, it would probably be a 10 out of 10 album. But as it is, it's a 9.5. So far, the second best album of the year, just right behind Luke Combs. Like, yes, I know it's not a fair comparison because it's two different genres, but holy fuck, I was not expecting this album to be this great. This shocked me, this surprised me, and now I want to go back and look through the rest of their stuff, and I can see why so many people call them one of the greatest bands of all time. Queens of the Stone Age is fucking fantastic. And you guys need to listen to this album. Thank you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you in two days for the next review. Yes, in two days, because there's no reviews tomorrow. Because I need a fucking break. So, yep. See you in two days for the next review. Until then, thanks for watching. Go listen to this album right now. Peace.